All right, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install the Homebrew channel on your Wii U in Wii mode or on a regular Wii. Now, for this video, you will need an SD card, like a 2 gigabytes or less SD card. Then you'll also need Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now, there's some other Wii games that you can use to run the exploit, but which I'll explain more later. So let's get started. First, you can follow the link in the video description to WiiUbrew.org. Then here it says, uh, currently we have not been successful running Homebrew on the Nintendo Wii U, but running code in Wii mode is possible. So basically, since the Wii U is backwards compatible with Wii games in Wii mode, it's also backwards compatible with some Wii hacks and homebrew apps and whatnot. So you can just click Wii mode. And then under working exploits is kind of a list of Wii games and their corresponding exploit that's compatible with the Wii U. So if you have a uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you can run Smash Stack. If you have Lego Batman, you can run Bat Hacks. If you have uh, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, you can run that. If you have Lego Indiana Jones, you can run Indiana Pones. And then if you have Lego Star Wars, you can run Return of the Jedi. And then if you have Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Willy Breakers, then you can run Yugi Owned or Yugi Va, depending on your region. So, like I said, I'm using Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So I'll just click Smash Stack. And then on the right side, you can click Download. And it'll just download a small zip file. And you'll want to follow the next link in the video description to bootme.org. You'll want to download the Hack Me Installer. You can just click that. And it will download another zip file. Alright, you'll want to follow the next link in the video description to webrew.org. And on the left side, you can click Applications. And this is a list of, kind of apps, emulators, and games and whatnot that you can run in the Homebrew channel on your Wii or Wii U. And what I'd recommend downloading is under Utilities. I'd recommend downloading the Homebrew Browser. Now this is sort of like an app store that you can install on your Wii or Wii U that will allow you to kind of browse and download all these Homebrew apps and emulators and games and whatnot directly onto your Wii or Wii U through the Homebrew channel without having to, you know, download them on your computer or do any of the transferring them onto the SD card or anything like that. So it's much easier. So on the right side, you can just click download, and it'll download uh, another zip file. Once it's finished downloading, you can go to the desktop or wherever you downloaded everything to. And you can right click and extract it using WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Uh, be sure to extract all three of them. Then next, you want to insert your SD card into your computer or memory card reader. Then go to My Computer. Then right-click your SD card and go down to Format. Now be sure to back up anything important before you format your SD card. Then under File Systems, you can set that to FAT32 then click start okay and then once it's finished formatting you click okay then close and then open your SD card then you want to open the smash stacks folder and then copy the private folder to your SD card and just drag and drop and next you can open the hack me installer folder. You can copy everything in the Hack Me Installer folder to your SD card. 
So there'll be a you know, like a boot.elf and you know, we load and licenses and readme files and all that. And then next you'll want to right click and create a folder on your SD card. You can go to new folder. Now this is case sensitive, so yep, the, you can't have any capital letters in this, so it has to be lowercase apps, A P P S. Otherwise it will not work. And you open the apps folder and copy the contents of the homebrew browser folder into the apps folder on your SD card. I believe that's everything. So you can remove the SD card from your computer or memory card reader. And do not insert the SD card into your Wii U or Wii yet. Just start the Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So first you'll want to go down to Vault, and then go to Stage Builder, and you'll need to erase all of the custom stages. You cannot have any custom stages in order for this to work. So once you've erased all of the custom stages, you'll need to go back, and then insert the SD card into your Wii U or Wii. Go to Vault and then Stage Builder. And it may take a second, but it should load the exploit. Alright, so there we go. Read the scam warning and then press 1. And install the homebrew channel. And then install bootme. Then return to the main menu and then exit. Right, and then here it is. This is the homebrew channel. You can press the home button and then go down to exit to system menu. Right, and here's the Wii system menu. And there's the homebrew channel. And this is the homebrew browser app. You just load it. It'll take a second to connect to the internet. And check for updates and everything. So here it is, the homebrew browser. Uh, don't forget to like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.
Thank you for watching.